Hello, my near and dear darlings. So we are doing a reading on how would they rate you in bed? How would they describe you in bed? I haven't really seen a reading like this. And also, I feel like there's some juicy things that anybody would definitely want to know about how do they describe you in bed? Are you even good in bed? What do they say behind your back about your skills in bed? All of the juicy details. So go ahead and pick a stone that resonates with you. And the timestamps will be down below in the description or the comments. And I will see you at your pile. Bye. Hello, pile number one. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight into the storyline. And then we're going to get some oracle. But this is kind of like an overview. So how would they describe you in bed? One, we have the king of swords. So this is kind of backwards. The princess is actually the king... No, the, this is the Knight of Swords. Yes, the Knight of Swords. So, what I'm getting from this is that, how do I say this? You could be very dominant in bed, like, um, ooh, I don't know if anybody's heard this term. This is definitely 18 plus, but like topping from the bottom. If you are like a bottom person, you top from the bottom and like... What I'm getting is that you're very, I don't know why, but I'm getting like you're very defensive and protective of your own body. So like, if anybody makes a comment about it or anything about it, you're like, mm, no, I'm not getting in bed with you. Like, I'm not going to be treated this way. So it's almost like it's a privilege to sleep with you. That's how they view it. And you're very like, you could be mentally like intimate with them, play those mind games. But I'm getting, like, topping from the bottom. Heavy, heavy. Because I'm seeing the person, like... Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm seeing that. I can't believe I'm doing this reading. I'm sorry, but I'm seeing it so clearly, like... They go on top of you. And, like... It's a 50-50 split. Either, like, you top from the bottom and you're okay with being on the bottom. But, like, you're in control on the bottom. And then... Or I get, like, a psych, I'm on top. You know? Because the Wheel of Fortune is also karma. So, two things. One, I'm getting, you make them forget about all of their exes. Like, you make them close cycles. Like, they're like, they're like, I don't want to think about anybody else but you right now. Like, it's only me and you right now. Because this feels amazing. Because we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is water. So, a lot of wetness. You, you're very wet. You're very spicy. You make them very wet. So, yeah. And um, the Wheel of Fortune, the fact that it is cycles, maybe you take turns. Like, you're a switch. You go back and forth. Top to bottom, top to bottom. Like, you're good at exchanging, you know? Um, so, all I gotta say is that you... How, how would they describe you in bed? One, I feel like the Three of Swords is them. They don't want you to leave the bed. Because the Eight of Swords is like... You're in a situation and you know that you're stuck in a situation and you're acting like you don't know how to get yourself out of this situation. So, I'm getting like, they don't want you to leave, if that makes sense. Like, once you do do the deed with this person, they do not want you to leave. Like, maybe they don't like, they, they don't leave your mind. I need to stop saying like. I'm trying to use other words, but it's so hard because like is a description word. Okay. As if they don't want you to leave the bed. They're, they're making you think that you can't escape them somehow. Like they, they want to tie you down and make you not leave. Because if you left, their intimate, intimate physical relationships will not be the same. Like you break their heart pretty much. I'm seeing somebody walking out the door and they're and then whenever you walk out the door they lay in the bed and they're thinking what just happened? This was amazing. What just happened? And they're trying to tie you down and they do not want you to leave. I repeat, they do not want you to leave the bed. Cuz the Ace of Cups is like you you make them um how do I say it? Get off very well. Very, very well. 
and also you make them feel emotions that they've never felt before. You make them change their mind about a lot of things. You make them question a lot of things because the Wheel of Fortune is like that wh what goes up must come down, ending cycles, all, all, all of that. And you're making them question their whole life of when, like, I don't want this person to leave my life because this is amazing. That's what I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I would definitely say, okay, so if they could rate you, we got the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. I think the Wheel of Fortune is literally a 10. And then the Ace is like number one, you know? And then we have the Eight of Swords. So that's a pretty high rating. Well, my light went out. That's not creepy. The candle went out. So definitely not not creepy at all. But whatever. All right, let me switch it. I feel like that'd be cute. Right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get into the oracle, but so far so good. Okay, so I'm back with the second part of your reading. So we have Scared Center with Selenite. All I gotta say is that they are like, if you are a spiritual person, whenever you have into intimate time with them, because I'm trying to keep this appropriate for YouTube, whenever you are in bed with them, they actually kind of have spiritual, like, experiences with you, which is quite interesting. Um, and also, ooh, you're like a femme fatale in bed. That's how they feel about you, because it has he Hecate at the top, the symbol right here. And Hecate is the guardian to the underworld, like, to the spiritual realm. So you take them to places that they've never been before. And with the, um, like, fire and water energy, it's like y'all are the perfect balance of hot and cold, um, fire and water, like, it's, it's hot and steamy one time, and it's like, the next time it's like really slow and gentle and flowing the next time. It's like this ebb and flow that y'all have whenever y'all are intimate together, whenever y'all are in bed together, and that's how they feel about you in bed. It's like this nice little give and take like it's balanced you you make them feel balanced in the bedroom like it's not them just doing everything and it's not just you doing everything that's how they feel because i know somebody somebody might be like oh no that's not true but it's how they feel towards you in bed and then what they think about after y'all are done in the bedroom i pulled some cards and it says i feel empty without you this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. So they want they want a slice of your pie every time. Like, they're thinking about that. They're like, mm, I'm coming back. I, I want to tap that again and again. I do, mm -mm. I'm coming back for you. Like, I hate to say it for so, well, I mean, it's good for you, bad for anybody else. But whenever they're thinking about you in, in the bedroom, like, they may be sleeping with somebody new. But they're still thinking about you because it was so balanced. It was so good. It was like dreamy and mm, everything. And then we have, I fell in love the moment I saw you. So I think whenever they saw you fully nude or in the nude or pretty close or whatever, they were like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this person's body, the way that they move. Like, they are mesmerized by your body very goddess-like body in their eyes i know s some people might be like oh uh, I, I don't know but it's how they view you i will repeat that again it's how they see you because me i'm insecure about my body like i'm very insecure but if i had a reading like this it's like oh okay this is how they see me i don't feel this way about myself but this is how they see you pile number one so yeah and then I got some X energy. I'm not even gonna lie. That's why I kept it in. I kept it in. I was about to put it away, but then I was like, no, somebody needs to hear this. So it says, I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. They want to circle back. They want forgiveness because they want the, you know what again. They want you again. They want you in the bed again. It was just so good. It was so hot. It was so spicy. It was everything. 
everything you wanted and more. So, mm, well, everything they wanted and more. Because, you know, you know. But, like, you make them want to circle back. Like, if this person has left your life, they want to circle back because it was just such a good time. Nobody compares to you in the bed. At least to them. So, I'm going to pull some more Oracle. Hopefully, like, some more details come out about you and them in the bed. But so far, like, you are amazing. I don't know. Whoever's watching this... You're making people question their lives. Like, they think about you. Like, if they're gonna talk about anybody in bed in a good experience, they talk about you, pile number one. They talk about you. But anyways, I digress. Let's get into some more oracle. Oh, okay. So they might be an air sign, expansive, intellect, inquisitive. So you make them want to explore things in bed, too. Like, you make them want to... They they think about you a lot. Let's put it that way. Or they might be an actual air sign. But I'm getting that, like, they think about you a lot. Like, they're, you are on their mind a lot. We have Saturn, discipline, obstacles, and boundaries. I'm getting some BDSM vibes. For some of y'all, that's not everybody. That is not everybody. I must reiterate that. Because not everybody is into all that. But, like, discipline... Is there some, like, spanking going on in the bedroom? They like to spank you. That could be it. Or, like, you're very firm on how you want things to go in the bedroom. So they, like, kind of have to adjust to it. We have Scorpio. Oh! Oh! Okay, I, okay, I'm so glad that I actually chose this reading now. Oh my gosh. So we have deep, intense, transformative. Like I said, they don't think about anybody else but you in the bed. Oh, oh, it's making me feel tingly. I've never been this way about a reading. I'm obsessed. Scorpio energy, dominant, femme fatale, or like dominant masculine energy. Get on your knees and let me spank you. Like, <laughs> it's making me all shy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have Virgo, analytical, functional, and efficient. So you get the job done for them. You get, you get the job done for them. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all like fluttery and butterflies. Okay, I definitely want to do this reading again in the future. Oh, it's giving me tingles. Okay. And we have Capricorn. Okay, so this might be your sign or their sign, Scorpio, Virgo, and Capricorn so far. Again, uh, we have disciplined, tenacious, and resilient. Mm. I'm getting, like, you give them tingles. Because me, I'm getting tingles. So you probably give them tingles, like, all down their spine. Because that's where I'm getting the tingles. Like, you give them tingles down their spine. I'm seeing somebody who is blindfolded. Who, ooh, like, I'm seeing it all right now. Like, blindfolded. You, you giving, you, you giving head. Whether you're a guy or a girl watching this, you're, you're, you're doing the job down there. That's all that I gotta say. That's how they see you. Like, ooh, I see like, ooh, I'm <clears throat> sorry. I'm just, I get, I don't know why I chose this reading because I am a very shy person. Like, I really am, but like. You're, you're, you're dominant, or they are, I don't know, but somebody here is dominant, like, super dominant, but, like, innocent dominant, like, you would never expect it from you, or, like, um, it's very low-key, it's almost like they have to earn it, it's one of those things, oh my goodness, pile number one, who is this for, if this isn't for you, just pick another pile, but this is, like, really juicy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me pull one more card. This is so juicy. Mmm. Scorpio energy. You might like taboo things, or you make them want to do taboo things. Like, you make them want to explore. We have Sarah, self-care, wellness, and agriculture. So, I'm getting, um, kind of, like... You take care of them, like, cuddle, cuddling after being in the bed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, y'all cuddle afterwards, even though it's, like, maybe intense. Or, like, 
you driving them crazy but afterwards it's like y'all hold each other and it's really nice somebody that you might have cuddled with afterwards or who does like cuddles after all the intimate stuff in the bed like self-care you know you got to make sure that you're okay afterwards if y'all do do bdsm because i know that there's aftercare and y'all definitely do that for sure Ooh, okay this just came out so we have cardinal um, initiation spark and vision. So yeah, they, they think about you afterwards. Like they probably touch themselves thinking about y'all's experiences together. That's what, also what I'm getting. And also there is definitely a spark. There is a connection. If this is a past person, like that's how they feel towards you in the bed. Like if you're wondering about a past person, cause I know some past energy came out, but they like, there was a spark. They felt that chemistry. They felt it in the bedroom. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pull some letters to pull some initials. So it may be your initials, their initials, all the above, you know. And yeah, let's get into those letters. Okay. A lot of letters. Which is nice. And also this thing too. So the hand represents like, I see Ellie, sorry, I see Ray too, R-A-E, but the hand is like, I've had, I've lugged that around for a very long time, and I think, so this is somebody who has probably thought about you for a long time, or fantasizes about you, and they like never say anything, like... I see Joe, J-O-E, but anyways, um, yeah, so this person probably ha is secretly thinking about you, like somebody secretly thinking about you from the past, and then if there was another R, I would say a rare, as in you're rare, but yeah, those are the letters for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading pile number one, because this was actually really fun to do, and, um, I usually post three times out of the week. Usually, that's my goal every week. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you resonate with my energy. And I'll see you next time, pile number one. Bye. Hello, pile number two. So if you chose this stone right here, this is going to be how they describe you in bed, all the juicy details. I am super excited. Pile number one was just wild and awesome. I really liked it. So we have the King of Pentacles right here. So they see you as physically fit, very strong, very stable, very maybe slow and nurturing too. So they see you as very like, you could be physically fit or that's how they view you is like stronger than what you may seem. And also very nurturing and gentle and slow, that motherly stable energy in bed as well. And what... <laughs> This is going to be kind of funny. So we have the Six of Swords and the Tower. They, it may look bad, but I promise you it's not. Just give me a second. So your skills in bed, you switch it up. We have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is delusion, multiple options. Like, I see you as somebody who's switching it up in the bed all the time. And they enjoy that because they don't know what to expect from you. They're like, mmm, you switching it up. We're going on top, we're going on bottom, we're going on the couch, we're going on the counters, like, if this is your pile, this is your pile, but if it's not, it's not. But, like, that's what I'm saying is, like, you switch it up, different locations, maybe different spots, or, like, they're a little bit delusional about the experiences with you as well. And then we have the Six of Swords, which is, like, moving away from something and encouraging moving away from something, and a tower is major change. So... If this is like an F boy, F girl energy right here, if you're a guy watching this, like F boy, F girl energy of, you make them want to commit because a four of wands is a deep commitment. They see the tower moment, at the like, you know, after y'all do the deed, they're like, I think I want to marry this person. Like, I'm done being for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you make them want to commit. They're like, I'm done. I don't want the streets anymore. I want to put a ring on that finger. Like, I want you and only you. That's what I'm getting. Like, they, you make, like, 
how do I, what's the saying? You turn a hoe into a housewife. Like, you have the ability to do it. You make an F boy a husband. Like, you have that ability because you switch it up in the bed. You're gentle, but then you're also strong and you're firm. Like, you can do both. You can do it all. That's how they view you. So, I want to, I'm going to pull a little bit more tarot because I do want to get, like, their experience in bed. I only pulled one card. So, like, your experience in bed. How are you in bed? Like, wh what do y'all actually do in bed? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Temperance. Okay, so that's Sagittarius energy. So y'all are, like, it's very free in the bedroom. You're, fr you're free to express yourself. Okay. So, sorry, I just pulled it. So we have the temperance right here. So very healing. Like, yeah, you make people change their minds. Like, you you make people change their minds. And also, it's it's a even balance of wetness. Like, y'all can both make each other... Y'all can both make each other extremely wet. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands right here. So, if you're a girl watching this, you get you get them up. You get them, you know... You know, you get them up. I I will not shy away from that. You get them up. It's an equal balance of, and then the chariot. That's forward forward movement. So maybe you get them off really fast. <laughs> or um, they want to move forward and end up actually being together with you. Like you you really do. You make them want to commit. Like the. They're laying in bed after everything, and then they're like, I want to be with this person. I want to move forward with this because this is, this is way too good in bed. This is nice. We switch it up. It's, like, rough one day. It's soft the next day. I was smelling baked goods, and I forgot that there's cinnamon in this candle from Halloween because we put, like, a little bit of cinnamon, and I'm like, why am I smelling cookies? Like... Or you could just smell good. Maybe that's a sign. I, I really don't know, but I'm smelling cookies. But, um, you make them feel really good. Maybe you smell really good, like, you don't smell bad, which is weird, because that could be a preference for this person. But yeah, I'm gonna pull some more Oracle, get some more details, some more overall energies. But yeah. Okay, I'm back, pile number two. So, we have Sharp and Shadows with Obsidian. Um, what I'm automatically getting from that is that this person could be very protective of you and very dominant over you. Um, and also with the scissors being cut, I think you're, like, you have the ability to make them walk away or change their mind about things, like, after being intimate in the bed, because I do believe doing the deed in the bedroom, there's still a connection, there's still, like, I feel like you still get experiences that you can't explain, I don't know, you make people have epiphanies, okay? Like, you make them realize what they're doing wrong in life, and I feel like that has everything to do with these cards that came out, so... This person could be very dominant towards you in the bed with the obsidian card. Um, but you make them realize things that they've never realized before. Because we have, I never experienced this intense connection before. So you make connections in the bedroom. You don't just sleep with people. You make full-on connections. Like, you connect. You have that ability. You can make people feel, feel things that they never felt before in the bedroom. Like, that is, that is you. And then... I, we have, I am learning a spiritual lesson. I'm putting myself first right now. So you, describing you in the bedroom, you make them, they, you made them feel something so intense that they need to heal and rearrange their whole entire life. You made them have a tower moment. Like you, you made them change their mind. Like a phoenix rising, death card kind of energy of all like death and rebirth. I'm switching my life around and I want to commit to pile number two, you know? And it says, I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. You may, whoever you're thinking about on your mind or like past energy or whatever main energy is coming in, you made them feel things that they never felt before. So again, I feel like this is confirmation on like, you made somebody for the streets want to park and make a home with you. Like... You, you made somebody want to commit. I don't know. You make people want to commit. So I feel like whenever you do get very intimate with somebody, you're very sparing with it. 
Like you don't you have you don't have a high body count. Like you have not slept with many many people. That's what I'm seeing from that. And um but yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get you some more oracle to end off your reading. Okay, so I am back. Oh, I'm pulling some more oracle. We have retrograde. I've never pulled that yet, so we have reversal, declaration, and distance. So maybe you can make people go distance, like go, like ghost you almost. Because of like how much you make them want to commit to you and like change their mind that they're like, uh oh, this isn't my ways. Like, <laughs> I, I need to get away from this person. They're making me feel things I've never felt before. Or you make exes want to come back. We have first house, self, body, and presence. So, they're obsessed with your body in bed. They're obsessed with your presence in bed. Like, your aura changes. Um, your aura changes whenever y'all are sleeping together. Like, your energy changes. You go from, like, maybe not as intense to very intense. That's what I'm getting. And then we have third quarter. So, it's breakdown. Um readjustment and forgiveness like i said you make you you make people want to like beg for forgiveness like they break down they're questioning their lives like it's very intense you're, you're making people think things that they've never thought before or like you're making them want to explore the bedroom too explore different things with you like they want to do anything and everything with you it's very interesting and then we have air let me move this over. Doo, doo, doo. It says expansive intellect and inquisitive. So they may be an air sign or you might be an air sign. But like, yeah, they want to expand. They want to grow with you. They want to like, mm, they think about you in bed all the time. Oh, okay. So we have Aquarius. So this person might be Aquarius. Innovative, rational, and humanitarian. So you may be very gentle in bed. Like, ooh. This might sound weird, but, like, you may actually heal parts of them while you're sleeping with them. And, yeah. They could be Aquarius. You could be a Aquarius. That kind of energy. But, yeah. That's mainly what I'm getting. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull some letters for you. Okay. So these could be initials, actual names of people, all of those things. So yeah. I heard the name Robin. I don't know. And then also there's Rob right there. Hannah. Or Hiena. That's random. But yeah. Okay. Well, of course it's a name. But that's very specific. But anyways. Um, this is the end of your reading pile number two. I usually post three times out of the week. I try to do that as much as possible. And don't forget to subscribe if you resonate with my energy. And I hope to see you next time, pile number two. Bye. Hello, pile number three. So we are going to see how they describe you in bed, get all the juicy details. All the other piles have been really interesting. So if this doesn't resonate, don't be afraid to just choose another pile. Because every single one has been intense. It's been fun. I've really liked it. I've really been enjoying it. So I'm going to get straight into it. So this is going to be the card on how they describe your body. So in with... Well, I'm going to point out the Seven of Pentacles to explain what I'm thinking and why I'm feeling this way. So you could be inquiring about somebody that you have slept with multiple times. Because the Seven of Pentacles is watching the fruits of your labor grow. Watching your experience grow, your wealth grow, um, a little person growing, you know? So I think that this could be, like, an F buddy that you've, like, been with multiple times over the years. Like, somebody that you just go back to and you sleep with a lot. But, um, or it could just be, like, a reconciliation or you've just been with this person for a very long time if you're married or something. It's, it's something along the lines. Like, somebody that you've repeatedly go back to or you're in a relationship and this is who you're with. But anyways, so I'm kind of glad that an actual relationship did come out. If you are in a relationship, if not, it's, like, an F buddy that you definitely have, like, 
go back to. Anyways, so sort of relationship energy. I'm loving it. I like it. So this is the high priestess. The high priestess, all I gotta say is that you take them to a world that they have never been to before. Like, you give them experiences that they've never experienced before. It's almost like you put them on a pedestal. No. Other way, well, I guess that too. You put them on a pedestal, they put you on a pedestal. That's why y'all keep going back to each other. Because, like, y'all have never experienced anything like that give and take like that before. Like, it's something a lot more intense. And something that both y'all cannot explain. And... With the high priestess, how they view your body, you have the most phenomenal body that they have ever seen. Like, your curves, your your everything, your curves. I'm, I'm even hearing down to the cellulite. They love it. Down to the cellulite. You might be a curvy person. I'm seeing somebody who's, who's curvy or is semi-curvy. But, like, they love it. Head to toe. Um, I'm also getting that they like your, your breast. They like your boobs. They like your chest area a lot. So you might have a bigger chest. And even if you have a small chest, they're still obsessed with it. Like, they they like it. They like touching it. That's what I'm seeing. And um, they like your arms and your legs. They like how lengthy your arms and your legs are. Like, you, you look like the high priestess. Like, just untouchable in their eyes. Like, they really put you on this pedestal. Like, they've never seen somebody as hot as you. Um... And if this is somebody that you've been with for a long time, they like the fact that they have gained so much experience with you, have had so many intimate experiences with you if this isn't somebody that you're with. But like over time, you have gained so much experience, like it just has gotten better and better and better every single time that you'll sleep together. And um, with a 10 of cups, you're the full package to them. Like, you are the full package. 10 out of 10. That's what they would rate you. Is like, you are the full package. You make them feel things. They ignore everybody else whenever y'all are together sleeping. If you're wondering if they think about anybody else, no. They're too focused on what's going on with you and only you in the bedroom. Like, they don't think about anybody else. They've even tried to think about other people and they can't. Because they're so focused on you. If you heard that, it's people going up the stairs. But yeah. And then the Ace of Cups, you make them wet you make them drip you make them sopping okay like and if it's a guy like you make them you make them up you do you do the job like it's up it, it is up or they like release like they've never released before if that <laughs> if you're picking up what i'm putting down like you make them feel things and they're obsessed they're obsessed like, it's almost whenever y'all sleep together, it's this weird eccentric high that they get with you. It's so, like, this is not for everybody. This is for somebody very specific. But yeah, like, you make their eyes roll to the back of their head. That's what I'm getting. If you want to be on honesty, honesty right here. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clear this. And then I'm going to get into more details with the Oracle to continue because this is juicy. It's spicy. I'm loving it okay so i am back pile number three so i pulled a lot more than all the other piles so i feel like this is for multiple people or the majority probably picked pile three but what i am getting from this automatically is that one with expand into wonder with the amethyst they think about you at night they they really do think about you at night like whenever they're sleeping whenever they're thinking they fantasize about you. They think about the past times that y'all have slept together, that y'all have been together, that y'all have been intimate together. And all I gotta say is that right here, it says no other compares to you. So in the bed, nobody else compares to you. Like you are number one to them in the bed. And it says, this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. So I have a feeling that this connection was so strong or is so strong and the intimacy was so strong, physical, emotional, all the above, spiritual. People were interfering and trying to tell them what to do in the relationship, but they want to come back. They want a second chance. For those who this is possibly a past person, they think about you still to this day. No one compares to you. They still think about you. They still feel these things towards you. They still, you know, masturbate to you, but um, do the nasty, nasty while they're thinking about you. 
But anyways, it says, I know that we are spiritually connected. So they still feel this energetic pull to you. They still feel intimately tied to you because of how you made this person feel. It says, don't forget about me. I haven't forgot about you. I think about you so much. It's scaring me. They think about you. Like, y I, I cannot emphasize this enough. Pile number three, like, it is you and only you in their mind. The intimacy is a you and only you in their mind. Like, they want to come back to you. They want you and only you. They want to cuff you. They, like, you are theirs. And they're, if they're in, in the relationship, if there has been, like, a breakup or, like, a parting, and then they did come back, this is just confirmation that they did come back. If there was, like, a slight, um, like, breakup and then they came back to you is because it, it was just, it was so, it was so good. It was so good. You're so good. Like, you know, and it says, get curious. You, they think about you a lot. They, they're curious about you. They like, mm, they're curious about your skills. Like, um, if they do want to circle back, if it's somebody from the past, they wonder if you've like gained more experience and if it's just more amazing, more euphoric in the bedroom and they want to send you a message or they want to tell you something, or they want to talk dirty to you, and also I'm getting that they, um, in bed, you may like to scratch people in bed, and also that they're obsessed with your thighs, I mainly got those too, but they like, they like the fact that you scratch their back, for some reason, if you're one of those people that like scratching in bed, but yeah, um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some more oracle to end off the reading, maybe their sign will come out, all that, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so let's get some more oracle. That's my bracelet hitting the desk. So, okay. So we have the sun, life, vitality, and purpose. Hmm. You, you brighten up their world in the bedroom. Like, it's very fiery. Like, they're always drawn to you because the sun has a gravitational pull. Discipline, obstacles, and boundaries. So if y'all aren't together, they want to circle back and become together. Uh, come together. This person could be very dominant in the bed. Oh, oh. Do we? Oh, never mind. That's Virgo. I was like, do I have Scorpio twice? Mm, they want to do nasty things to you in the bed. Like, intense, nasty things. But, like, this connection is deep and intense. They think about you very intensely. Then we have Gaia, nature, uh, nature, earth, and embodiment. I was about to say nurture. So, you're probably very nurturing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so we have Lilith, power, activism, and vengeance. Somebody is nasty, but like a good kind of nasty to them in the bed. Like, mm, mm, they have some dark, nasty thoughts about you in the bed. Like, if they could describe you, you do it all. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but like, if they were to describe you, you're, you're like doing backflips in the bed. Like, that's how they feel. Like, that may not be in reality, but you know what I mean. That's how they feel. Like, they feel like you do it all. You are their sun and moon and stars and everything, all the above. Like, mm. So we have solstice, focus, transition, and amplification. So, like, yeah, the energy in the bed is just so amplified. So we have square, competition, tension, and disharmony. Maybe I'll fight back and forth for, like, dominance in the bed. Like, y'all y'all fight back and forth. It's like, I'm on top. No, I'm on top. No, I'm on top. Like, I don't know. Or that's what they fantasize about. Like, that's how they would like it to be. If that doesn't resonate, that's, like, what they think about. Like, that's what they fantasize about, oddly enough. So we have Leo, which is also sun energy. Sorry. It is also sun energy. So we have courageous, regal, and loyal. They want to be loyal to you. They want to bow down to you in the bed. Like, they will do anything to keep you in the bed with them. Like, it's that even give and take. Oh, this is amazing. Like, maybe I'll get creative because I know Leo is like fame, being seen, creativity. Like, they want to get creative with you in the bed. Like, mm, yes, mm, yes. That's what I'm getting. Like, creativity. They, they want to do anything and everything. They're like, maybe they want to do backflips for you in the bedroom. Who knows? But you might be a Virgo, a Scorpio, or a Leo, or that might be them. So I'm going to pull some letters to end off this reading real quick. Okay. Ooh, so we have Tiger's Eye. They're very protective of you. They're very protective of you. 
you might have hazel eyes or brown eyes or this person could have hazel light colored brown eyes i'm hearing with like a touch of green mm. <laughs> i see bounce for some reason i'm seeing the word bounce they like to see that bootay bounce in the bed i don't know why so these could be initial i feel drawn to pull a couple or more Oy, the fire They want to be near you. I see near in E-A-R. But these could be initials, secret words. Um, but yeah. Okay, this is the end of your reading pile number three. Don't forget to subscribe if you resonate with my energy. And also, I usually post about three times out of the week. That is the goal each week. But yeah, I'll see you. I hope to see you next time. Pile number three. Bye.